Good afternoon. I have an Arbor Press. I really wanted the 610 Arbor Press, and it's a small A frame that comes up. This was $40, and I think you can get it for about $70. But I couldn't justify the space in my shop, and this is really about the size I need for what I want it for. So oddly enough, it says not a handle do not use to lift. I saw that after I got it home and I'd been using that as a handle to lift. One thing I'll give Harbor Freight is they take heavy tools and they'll put them in a box and it won't tear up the box very bad. Notice I didn't say at all, just not very bad. So, Very rough finish, I can already see that. Apparently there is some assembly required. Because I see this type of tool I'm not so sure needs a lot of fine finish, but there are clear rough marks on this. This is a speckle finish where it was cast and no cleanup whatsoever was done. When it was cast, they flattened these, but very heavy tool marks. So we're gonna put this in. We've gotta put this down in that hole so that the teeth will engage this. So I'll just put it down just enough to engage the teeth. And there, slid right over. Okay, so this is the last piece to put in. This is the top, the work surface. The underneath is pretty rough, but this is pretty rough and I'm thinking that doesn't really matter. So this is what we have. So here we have almost a full width of this. A little bit smaller, a little bit smaller, smallest. So you can put something there and that will allow you to press out a bearing, press out a center shaft, turn it a little and allow you to press in a center shaft or press in a bearing. Pressing bearings is what I got it for. This thing is way overkill for what I want. I want to use it to press bearings in the pillow blocks way overkill and here is the retaining ring i have to get something to tighten that with okay so i had to end up getting one of these to find the right size okay so now that we have the retainer clip on is a lock pin here that you tighten up and that holds that in place. If I was using that, I would probably do that. So I wouldn't have to keep moving it back and forth. This was kind of expensive, $40 for this Arbor Press. So they have mounting holes, huge holes. It's probably a half inch. And that would be how you would attach it to a table. Made in China. Now there's a surprise. Okay, going by the directions, this is what they call a spring pin. That's just a guide for it to spin on. Doesn't really provide anything. If you're pressing against this, you're spanning these two sides. And that is hugely thick. I have no doubt that it'd be one ton. It would support one ton. You're supposed to use these to adjust the play in this. I'm not going to do this. I bought the one ton model because they got rid of the half ton model and I needed a press. This is way more than I need, but <laughs> once I have this, it'll be all I ever need in terms of a press. I'm really liking this. It will most certainly do what I want it to do and a lot more. So this is probably pretty big for a hobbyist. I was going to originally get the half ton, but they'd already discontinued it and sold out by the time I went to buy this, so I bought the one ton. Like I said, this was 40 bucks, which to me was usually expensive. Way more than I need, and it's filthy. There is grime and oil all over this. Uh, I don't think that this would rust the unfinished surfaces, unfinished meaning not machined, they are painted. I don't think those would rust. I think that over time, without that oil or grease, that the tops of these work surfaces 
very possibly could rust. So I don't really have a problem with that. Um, and what I'm working on probably doesn't matter about getting dirty. If it does, I can lay a piece of paper towel underneath it. Very, very rough is all I can say. Very, very rough. I'm probably going to wipe down the painted surfaces and get some type of wax and put on the bare surfaces to try to prevent rust. So it's item 3552, one ton Arbor Press, all metal construction, large base and slotted table plate, max height five and a half inches, max diameter eight, 20 to one leverage. The largest Arbor is one and an eighth running this way and that's what that is, what comes with. The Ram Square is one inch, height of press is 13. I'm not sure why they give you the box dimensions except for shipping. So pretty simple tool, not a whole lot to tell. It's an arbor and it works as an arbor. I use it to do a press fit for bearings and other things. So if you like the videos, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.